Aries, hi. Welcome to the channel of love. You feel like really close. Okay. I'm here to do your uh, private personal star sign reading. A private reading. Okay. Oh, the wind's picked up then. Well, let's have a look. You are the last of the star signs to be done. Um, so let's have a look. We're going straight to the enchanted map. Oh, there's a breeze coming through. I feel it on my ankles and my feet. There's a change in the wind. Let's have a look and see what the enchanted map would like to say for you, Aries. Coming together in reverse. Okay. Before I read that card, let's find out some more. Let's have a look at the Law of Attraction. I've left, I can learn to prioritise my intentions. So this may not be a priority of yours, is about coming together. Okay, card number 57 here. I can learn to prioritise my intentions. It is important for you to identify which intentions you most want to fulfil. Because as you prioritise, you give your singular attention to what is most important and as you give that your singular attention by the law of attraction you attract power unto that intention that is most important to you okay so let's read about this coming together in reverse card number eight when the come together card appears reversed it is a sign that perhaps the love connection is unbalanced. Is intimacy being withheld from you, or are you withholding it from another? Longing and yearning are often mistaken for love, when in fact they are signs of lack. Perhaps you've been doing all the emotional work and pouring your water into an empty well, to the point that now you are also depleted. Know this. True love will not be denied you. What is truly for you will never walk past you or require this much energy. Drop the agendas, the fight, the need to win and allow love to flow through you. True love will always find its reflection in another. So I feel like your priorities might be changing. Okay, I can learn to prioritise my intentions. So I feel this uh, this energy of not wanting to actually, uh, not wanting to find true love, but I feel true love's found you, coming together, but in reverse. Have you been withholding intimacy from another? But let's have a look at the Tower of Desire cards. A Tower of Desire, I didn't add the, um, the S on now, desires. You might desire it, but uh, is it a top priority? Let's have a look. Because I feel like love's found you. True love. True love will always find its reflection in another. But what way are you going? Because the page of wands, you're being pointed, but it's like you're not, you're not looking. <laughs> okay. So you are following a certain direction. Now, I feel like you're going to be coming face to face with your true love soon. Okay. We've got some goggles on here. It's like you're in your own little uh, bubble. Now, what's with the lizard that you've got? Okay, on a string. On a string? Lizard on a string. Purple string. You're walking on purple bricks as well. Okay. So you may not be aware of this, but you are following the path of enlightenment and you're being led there by a lizard. <laughs> the Hierophant. Interesting. Okay, I need to look into this a bit more. Um, I felt like the energy of it being a desire, but that's about as far as it went. Okay, because you've got like this saint here. And, um, well, she's focusing on your head. And there's an arrow. There's kind of like this symbol here with the cross keys. 
masculine feminine energy and then there's a book and then this arrows coming down and pointing to the tip of her head okay so I feel like this is a desire but not an intention to actually have this come together well what's coming out of the world is uh, your true love connection <laughs> Now, I actually felt as if, um, I actually felt like this world here was actually what's encased around his head. <clears throat> I'm not sure what's going on with the directional uh, arrows, but we've got four arrows here that are, I'm not sure their meaning. So, the Page of Wands and the World card. The Hierophant in the middle. The Saints. Oh, when the Saints go marching in. Oh, when the Saints go marching in. I do actually feel like the masculine in this situation is acting like a saint. A celibate saint. Okay. Oh, we're getting another Law of Attraction card. I see myself enjoying perfect well-being. I see myself in perfect health, with absolute prosperity and invigorated with life. I am appreciating this physical life that I wanted as I decided to be a physical being. It is glorious to be here making decisions with my physical brain, but assessing the power of the universe through the power of the law of attraction. Feels like this feminine, she's just, oh, it's the same feminine here, look. I can learn to prioritise my intentions. It does look like she just appears... Oh. It's out of this world, anyway. I can create castles as easily as buttons. Let's have a look at the old colour shadows and lights. I can see a box of cat food over there and it's for seven plus years. So this may have been going on for longer than like seven years. Okay. What's that about seven years of bad luck? Well, maybe good luck's coming to you now then. Dress of alchemy, release your power. And it's very much about this feminine just being out of this world. She's kind of like, uh, I don't want to say she's like from outer space, but she's, uh, she's in this world, but not of it. Okay, alchemy. 33, dress of alchemy, release your power. Let's read this message. You're being drawn to a very powerful feminine energy. Card number 33. And the divine is guiding you there. You may not realise you're heading that way, but at some point you're going to come face to face with your own reflection. You have powerful energy when this beautiful being shows up in your readings. So you, Divine Masculine, have powerful energy when this feminine is around you. You have strong, powerful, vibrant energy that changes lives. And with that comes great responsibility. And I feel now we are talking about that feminine. Some people may be eroding their own energy fields with blame, discontent and choosing the same destructive patterns over and over again. When this being walks in, or flies in, I felt like she was on a broomstick, or swims in, or head dives in, when this being walks in, she shows that it is possible to change deeply and truly, and to become clear, bright, strong, healthy, and very powerful in terms of your energy. She understands the responsibility and has worked consistently 
and with great discipline and earnestness to be able to create, to create. The eyes in her wings make it impossible to hide from the truth of who you are. She speaks. It is time for you to celebrate who you truly are at this time, to acknowledge you have some energetic debris that needs to be cleared. And when you do this, the gold of who you truly are will shine through, just as these alchemical symbols shine from my dress. It is no longer possible in this new energy to hide who you are. You must take the time to be truly yourself. This is no cloak to hide within. As you can see, this dress I wear reveals all my magics and all my secrets. The secrets and the wisdoms of the ages are being revealed now more than ever before. When you have cleared your energy field of the guilt, the fear, the jealousy and the envy, you will be able to shine brightly too. The divination message. Please take time to clear from your own sacred energy field, jealousy, envy, fear and guilt. Once you are clear, welcome in bright, strong, powerful, healthy energy. After this has taken place, expect symbols and signs to pour in. Keep your energy strong and bright and follow the signs. When your energy is strong and bright, when you come from a place of love, courage and wisdom, you will attract the right signs and will not be misled. Do not expect to have no change after her arrival. Relationships and situations based on ego centre concepts. Concepts containing toxic energy will fall away naturally and you will now ask for your worth. This is not humbleness, overweening pride. It is self-love in action. Okay. Let's see what your angels and ancestors would like to say to you. They say you can create castles, castles, castles. You can create castles as easily as buttons. Oracle. Wait for important information. And the oracle's coming in with the Divine Feminine's energy here. Dress of Alchemy. The Oracle. We had the seer out um, earlier on today. I've opened straight up to the Oracle. Be open and receptive to information. Gather facts so that you can make a decision that is in line with your integrity. The Oracle is the truth speaker, the insight bringer of this deck, the ancestor who will be your best outspoken girlfriend. Someone who will tell you exactly what you need to hear to move forward. In this deck, she is reminiscent of the Oracle of Delphi, a psychic priestess of ancient Greece who was able to receive information and make predictions. She holds a bowl that has sacred smoke rising out of it, bringing the message to look around all you can see and gather information in order to make an accurate evaluation of your current situation. Extended message. Angels, ancestors and the universe are speaking to you at this time. So look and listen for important conversations, signs and messages that will pour. That will pour? Okay. So look and listen for important conversations, signs and messages that will point you in the right direction. You are being guided to wait for more information before making any fast moves because at the moment you are letting your wants get in the way of your needs. There is an opportunity for you to see everything clearly at this time but you will only be able to do so if you are willing to truly open your eyes. If you have been waiting for further information about a chance you have to make, a chance you have to make, I'm reading the words wrong, okay, need to truly open your eyes. If you have been waiting for further information about a choice you have to make or action you have to take, don't take matters into your own hands, but let what needs to be revealed be revealed. Then you'll know what to do next. Angels are supporting you. Trust them. 
interesting, it's page number 57. And this was card number 57. And I feel that this is actually a message for the feminine. Don't try to take matters into your own hands, but let what needs to be revealed be revealed. Then you'll know what to do next. Angels are supporting you. Trust them. So let's finish with some daily guidance from your angels. Change in direction, I saw. Perfect timing. Now is a perfect moment for you to act on your inspirations. The doors are open while you walk through them with us by your side. Don't delay or procrastinate as all of the ingredients are ripe for your success. Everything and everyone is on your side, supporting your positive outcome. Wow, Divine Masculine Aries, which does represent the Emperor energy. It's perfect timing. Okay. Everyone is on your side. Everything and everyone is on your side, supporting your positive outcome. Let's read this message and we shall leave it there. This card means that you need to take certain steps before your prayer can be fully answered. The angels say that now is the perfect time to act. They will guide you along the way. Sometimes it's not so important how we approach a situation, but that we put energy, action and intention into manifesting what we desire. I can learn to prioritise my intentions onto what you desire. This is what you're desiring, but it kind of went as far as that, and that was it. It was just a desire. So, they will guide you along the way. Who will? The angels. The angels say that now is a perfect time to act. They will guide you along the way. Sometimes it's not so important how we approach a situation, but that we put energy, action and intention into manifesting what we desire. Once we take the first step in the direction of our desired outcome, the universe then gives us additional help. Additional meanings for this card. Take action now. The situation will work out well, or it will work out well, provided that you don't delay. Make a decision. Any blocks in the past were because the timing wasn't yet right. And it's perfect timing. Perfect timing. Okay, Aries. Let's leave it there. I will catch up with you guys soon. Until then, take care. Much love. Bye for now.